just doing a quick video uh, just to see how the sound is and uh, the video quality is. Just going to do some quick inking of cartoon characters. Uh, I have the supplies on the left there. Use a Kami brush pen. I got a couple of them here. <clears throat> One's a little battle, battle worn. So uh, the other one has a kind of crisper line to it. Um, a lot of times when I draw or paint, I just start drawing and painting. So I'm going to just do that. I'm just going to start getting into it. Feel free to chat. Otherwise, enjoy watching. You know what? I'm actually going to do this, though. Sometimes I like to know where the center of the paper is. One half. Especially if I'm drawing a face, I just like to have some sort of guide. Sometimes that's all I got from penciling on a, on a drawing. Um, yeah, I'll just get into it. I'll kind of show how I draw hair in a minute. I have kind of a process to it. Let's get a face going here. I use a couple different brush pens. Uh, right now I'm using, oh, I'm sorry, this is a Kirutaki. I have the wrong, uh, wrong brush listed up there. This is a Kirutaki. I think that's how you pronounce it. They're like 20 bucks on, on uh, Amazon. They're not as nice as the Kami actually, but I like them a lot. Uh, they have a little more snap to them. The uh, brush itself is a little bit uh, shorter and it's a little bit um, stiffer. So you get a nice snap when you're doing line work. Um, whereas the Kami's a much longer, well not much longer, but it's a longer brush and it just has a smoother feel to it. I use that Kami when I'm doing maybe larger pieces. Uh, I forgot these Kuratakis. I think that's how you say Kuritaki. Are the uh, kind of my go-to for now. And I'm just drawing a pretty ugly face here. I don't make the prettiest art. I can, but lately I've been drawing these really ugly faces for fun. Big fat lower lip. Warts, bumps, and birthmarks. And I don't do this to make fun of anyone. It's just how kind of stuff I draw. I'm not saying I'm a good looking guy either. See, so yeah, I, got, I got an idea in mind for this guy. It's going to be like a, some sort of creepy looking teen with a, a mullet. I'm trying to keep my arm out of the way. I'll get better at it the more broadcasts I do. I 
And uh, one thing I kind of ended up drawing this way over time, and I'm probably going to say this a million times as I do these videos, is I see sh shadow as like blocks. I don't necessarily see it as, um, you know, these people who render realism. I can't do that, actually. I have no idea how to do that. Because I see shadow as like these big blocks of black. I don't see it as like rendered, if that makes sense. Um, honestly, I've tried. I just don't see it. I think, I think we learn to draw a certain way, but then I also think there's only, you know, if you don't see it, you don't see it. I can't make someone who doesn't know how to draw draw, and you can't make someone who draws a certain way really kind of completely change how they see the world. So, so this is coming along well. Give him some whiskers, some neck whiskers. Big old Adam's apple. keep having to look over my shoulder just to make sure I'm on camera while I'm doing this. I apologize for the squeaking. I need a new chair. I need a bunch of new shit, actually. Let's see. Let's have this guy have... A wandering eye. Again, I don't make fun of people that I draw like this. I'm just... This is just the shit that interests me drawing. Unique faces. And if he only drew pretty faces, I don't know. Maybe they wouldn't be so pretty anymore. They're boring. on that lip. He's looking handsome. Alright, so now we got a head. Kind of draw the ears. Or at least maybe I'll put a mention of them in there. Draw a good old classic bullet. You kind of want to start there anyways. So get a little bit of feathering in there. So my first official video on Twitch is how to draw a bullet. I think that'll be the title of this one. And let's make this thing sweet. Let's start here. And I want to exaggerate it all the way up to there. Yeah, we can pull this off. We're not going to give this guy eyebrows. Because with a sweet mullet, your eyebrows are kind of hidden anyway. And you'll see me start putting some elements in, and then I'll like black over them. And that's kind of an old, that's kind of just how it worked too. But it, it goes back to an old phrase that Wally Wood used to say. And that is, when in doubt, fill it in black. So if it's just not working out, just fill it in black. What's the worst that can happen? You have a little bit extra shadow on your drawing. So a mullet's kind of like a helmet like that. That's a decent shape to begin with. Some scruff in there for like a sideburns. Come in around the ear.
we'll do the Kentucky waterfall at the end, you know, the stuff that comes down at the bottom. So, got a helmet here. The hair kind of breaks up into these sections. Well, you'll see it'll have some hard lines in it and then a lot of reflection. Kind of like, I don't know, it just randomly puts them in here. And I might run out of ink in this brush and I can show you what's cool about it, how you refill it. But I like these because you don't have to, you know, you, it's a brush. It's actually a brush, but you don't actually have to dunk it every uh, 10 seconds. I just start picking areas and start filling in those reflections. I have to go back in and uh, darken it a little bit. Make a little wisp under here. Hair is complex. Hair is complex. It's not complicated. It's just complex. So. And you almost, it's almost like drawing trees. You can't really do it wrong. As long as it starts looking like that, it looks like hair. Guaranteed. And we'll do a little more right here. It's gonna be a sweet mullet. And sometimes when I draw hair, because this happens when, when hair is photographed too, you'll have, you'll see what I'm doing here is like these big shapes of just shadow. I think my brush is about to run out of ink. It's big shapes. So you're only kind of like adding some of that on the end. Just keep adding more and more little reflections. You know, maybe we fill this one in here, a little fold in the hair. Maybe this reflection goes across two paths. It's a little reflection in there, but then it meets up again here. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to get a little more ink real quick. These pens are great because they come in these little cartridges. You just unscrew the back here. Oh, that looks pretty full, huh? I'm gonna give it a little shake and see if that helps. These have been sitting about a week, so. Once in a while that happens too. Let's see. I'm just gonna go on with it here. Let me Bob Ross the whole thing. I had a pretty sick ass mullet when I was, uh, God, through most of high school. You know, I grew up during that era where, like, those haircuts weren't funny. Like, if you didn't have one, you looked funny. And, uh, it's only funny now. Like, I don't remember anyone making fun of mullets. Problem with vellum, and I don't know if you can, and this kind of ink in this pen, and I don't, I can't zoom in enough for you to see it, but occasionally like fingerprints or palm prints do actually cause the ink not to get into the paper well, so you gotta go over it again. 
which kind of sucks. But uh, you can do the old trick, and I should be doing that anyway, so you just get a scrap piece of paper and put it underneath the palm while you're drawing. And I had to grab one of this. Sorry. Don't want to waste a good sheet of paper. That was easy. Alright, so. Again, first broadcast, bear with me. And sometimes I'll do these kinds of reflections in the hair. Why not all the all the tricks now? So yeah, you actually use the paper as a barrier, so your natural sweat and oil in your skin doesn't get on the paper and you don't smudge anything. As you can see, this haircut's already starting to look pretty sweet. I had a mullet once. I actually went in to get my hair cut and I had the same woman who always cut my hair do it. I was living in Austria. I always liked the haircut she gave me, but I went in one time and I kind of told her I wanted it a little longer in the back and uh, a little bit shorter than normal in the front. I came out of there with the worst haircut you've ever seen. In fact, my friend Bonnie, who forgot I spoke a little German, said to my friend, he called my haircut the, the Jamie Lee Curtis look. And that's exactly what that haircut looked like. It looked like a female aerobics instructor from the 80s. And I have pictures of that, and if I can figure it out, maybe I'll post them to go along with this video. So yeah, we got one side of that mullet looking pretty fucking sweet. What I might do is come in at the end and do another tr trick across here, but let me draw the other side first. After I was sitting in my cobalt. So you get the picture. We're just going to do more of that over here. Sometimes I'll drop it too, like I'm doing here. Instead of doing a straight across ribbon kind of look to it, I'll drop it. It's going to have a very complicated looking mullet when this is done but it'll look cool. I really hope I can title this thing. Yeah, my friend Henry was asking how I do some of the techniques I'm showing here. And uh, if he does end up watching this video, I hope he picks up kind of what he was asking. I'm going to be doing more and more inking videos, so 
is I ink a lot of different ways. This is my favorite brush pen. But I can do cross hatching, I can do fine line, I can do pointillism, all that stuff. Um, mostly what you'll be seeing is this kind of stuff on my channel, but I might do one where I'm just literally just doing all the different techniques of inking that I can do. I've always been drawn to inking. Um, my favorite cartoonists are some of the best in history at inking. Uh, huge Jack Kirby, Jack Davis, Will Eisner, Wally Wood, all those guys. How they lay out. Um, I guess Jack Kirby wasn't necessarily an inker, uh, but the way he laid out um, shadow and reflection definitely was influential on me. That guy there. I mean, you can see it all coming together. Pretty beautiful. These guys come down here. Oh, what's going on? I'm sorry, I didn't notice anyone was on here. I'm sorry. I've been kind of in my own world. Just noticed someone joined the uh, broadcast. I don't know if you're still there. Sorry about that. Still getting used to uh, this whole platform. I'm an Instagram liver. I'm just uh, trying to make the switch. And so I'm going to do something real quick, though. I'm filling this in black. What I often will do is take an older brush that's kind of fucked up, and I'll just quickly lay in blacks. Uh, save some of the wear and tear on the newer brush. See, so yeah, I got my first uh, watcher. It took me eons to. Uh, I'm a real cheap guy. It took me eons to figure out how to uh, set up a way to broadcast on Twitch without spending <laughs> or spending as little money as I possibly could. I just, I'm so cheap. So that's kind of the top of a mullet. Oftentimes, I'll, I'll uh, with hair, when we have a helmet, head like this. I'll do a little sound effect there for you. Kind of reflection up on top like that. As though the head is made of metal. But actually hair can look like this if you really take a look at it. Then I'll often go in. Put little things in like that. Thank you. I appreciate the comment. I like drawing weird fucked up shit like this and people are like, oh my god, that's that's beautiful or that looks awesome. And it's like this kind of shit. <laughs> um, so now that I did the darkness in the hair like that, I kind of want to go in and just add a little more dark around the nose because the nose seems... It needs a little love. Maybe a little concentration frown there. Uh, this is needing a little more to it. A little more meat to the mullet. All right, 
now. Let's start with one shape. This this is what separates the men from the boys. You can have a helmet head. But you need that Kentucky waterfall. Remember the back of the mullet. Like right now I'm growing out my hair and I'm starting to get kind of that shit going on where it's curling because it's so long end. It's like tons of dead split ends. So you kind of want to want to make it scraggly and unkempt and curling. This is unhealthy hair. And yeah, I had this hair, this haircut too at one point. First time I grew my hair out, I had to work through a mullet pretty hard. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Missouri compromise, nice. So, we got a really handsome fella here. center line out. If you're drawing faces, if you draw like me, you don't sketch anything out, you just kind of start inking. But it is nice whenever I draw, if I'm drawing like even a dragon tattoo or a wolf head or something like that, to put that center line in, just to uh, give you some sort of way to make sure everything's balanced and proper and symmetrical. So, I saved the best for last. We gotta put a little sweat on the dude. Little tiny droplets here and there. You can even put a little drool coming out of his mouth. Sweaty neck. That's the sign. That's it. That's the ticket. Maybe this guy's been in a fight. Maybe he had one too many 40s and got in a fist fight and ended up with a cut on his neck. Give him tiny little stitches. Again, you want to make sure one of your brushes has a nice, crisp, clean tip so you can get in the little details. Not totally happy with how this part looks. Usually I draw a nose hair, but this guy's a little more kempt. He takes care of himself. And on his wandering eye, I think a little bit of Happy little bloodshot going on there. And maybe we got a little birthmark over. There, my friends, that is how you draw a mullet. And that's the end of my first broadcast. Thanks for uh, checking it out.